me again. So hello and this is me again, Vincent. Welcome to another video though now. You guys probably know there's music in the background. Um you guys probably know that um at this point before I did these types of videos, like before when I first um got onto YouTube, I or when I first found YouTube back in two thousand nine, I wanted to do toy reviews. That was the thing I did want to do. But I realized like that takes a lot of time and there's a lot of things to talk about though. It's like movie reviews, except it's a visual thing though. That there's so many videos people do of like reviewing like like the the Playmates toys or something or a bunch of things though and a lot of but it is um uh thing like so many people make so many reviews of one figure though. It's like movie reviews though where Movies are more my thing. I like collectibles and toys. I do talk about it from time to time, like in my movie sit downs or whenever I could bring it up. Though I love toys and collectibles just as much as anyone else. So I mean, clearly, though that that's been my thing since we started the channel and all that. Though so, uh, in the new year and the the lining up, I said I was going to do some like probably unboxings and some things that I thought would be interesting to make a video of though some collectibles and stuff on the side though though because I wanted to do that for a while um I decided with this one hey why not make this our first one though so it's not a review it's more of a unboxing slash a looking at type of thing so um if you can't see the title and the thumbnail and all that though uh it might go on the desk here actually though with these two right here though so um I saw this at Walmart um, today, there's three of them left. I've been eyeing this version of uh, this figure for a while. I don't have a lot of statues though, but this was one I had to get my hands on. Now, this is the McFar McFarland uh, DC Multiverse uh, Robert Pattinson uh, The Batman statue, and this is the um, gold label version, the black and red comic book. Uh, version here you can see like on the sides all there though like he's in there and then on the back that really nice comic book artwork they got though and this is the Batman on the side and then there he is in the front looking awesome now there's two other versions there's the regular uh, normal version you could get from uh, McFarlane because McFarlane got the rights to DC so they are making a bunch of the multiverse figures though and a bunch of DC characters and movies coming out though, so, um, they do a lot of Batmans and Jokers, people complain though, but, I'm, I'm whatever, I get which characters I know and I like though, so, um, but this is one I was eyeing for a little while though, if I wanted to get the statue, it was this guy, because I like the red and black, that's the whole marketing and theme of, uh, this movie, and I don't have the SH Figure Arts, uh, pre-ordered yet, nor do I have the uh, regular McFarlane articulated figure of this, so this is my first ever version of Rob Pattinson's Batman in my collection. He really looks cool though here, so he's a 1230 centimeter pose statue. I know he comes with a base and all that though, so, so, so I'm gonna open this guy up right now and see how he looks so in person, so let's do that real quick. Yeah, easy. I wonder if you can hear that. You probably can. If I can hear it, then the camera can hear that, so. There we go. I can put no. I'm gonna have to keep those. I'm gonna keep this box probably because if I'm gonna change houses, though, I forgot to say in the beginning. Though, watch my um, update video that I did on my whole uh, personal life and update on the channel and uh, my moving houses situation, as well as the new video I did for Alien Day and on Alien Day, as well as um, I posted the new Stranger Things trailer, season four trailer reaction a little while back, uh, or a little while ago, so, uh, how do you, I guess you pull them out like this, oh, and he even comes with the card, all these multiverse figures come with the cards, uh, oh, he even comes with a backdrop, to display with the figure, look, like even the Batman, because in the future I plan on making a whole shelf of just this movie, and maybe uh, some other stuff. And so I just close my door. I'm gonna have to toss it to the side. And he's got one like rubber band on his, his torso. It really looks super cool. It smells. 
was like one more. Oh Jesus man. So maybe now I could Oh it's Kate. Oh jeez. Oh but it's like a rubber, so it should be okay. Alright, we have to do this off camera. <laughs> Alright. So, Alright, I had to cut there because I had to actually figure out how to get this guy on the stand and get him out of the box. So, finding out first, the the cape is actually like a rubber. It's not like a hard like plastic or anything or something fragile that would snap. They actually made it rubber and easy to get out of the box so, so you can manipulate it to get it out of the box or put it back in you know, if you want it to though. So there he is from the back right there though and the other thing it was kind of hard to get him on the base since his feet and the pegs are a little weird though but it still looks cool though right there so we'll get to him in a second um you could put this backdrop right here on these little stands to put them in the background so that's how you could stand it right there i actually thought these are part for the base to like maybe put on the edge of like a shelf or something though but uh I, i'm stupid so i had to look up a video to see how this guy actually got on the base and how this whole thing worked. And he comes with like every uh, multiverse figure, this card right here of the artwork. This is the Batman on it though, and on the back right there. But the statue itself is amazing. No, like this is the best look you could get of Robert Pattinson's, uh, the design of this Batman. Though as I said in my review of the movie, it's very uh, like Arkham looking, though the Arkham video games uh, kind of animated series. A little bit of Michael Keaton and Ben Affleck are in there. A little bit of the um, the uh, uh, Christian Bale Batman is in there, and I love the mask, the the cow, the head, though, and just the paint. That's what's appealing about this is that it looks like a living image from the comic book, or, or if it wasn't a comic book, it, I don't think it's supposed to be replicating the artwork. I don't know if it's supposed to be, but it matches what all the the marketing and all the posters and stuff look like for this movie of uh, the red and black and especially the way they painted it it looks like if you put it in any angle it looks like from a panel though from a comic book like a lot of figures i see they recreate um uh moments from comic books like batman hush you have the joker statue that looks like that looks like that panel from the comic book was on top of the crate so but this is Incredible, like all the detail and stuff and the paint like there's not a lot of black on the back though there is some there though like on the cape though but I think the aesthetic they're going for like the lighting looks really cool though especially though he's sitting on top of a gargoyle on this uh, little base here plate though like he's looking down at uh, the city so if you have him high up on the shelf this will look really cool and if I had my old photo set and some red lighting this would look even better Though, and you can see like all the detail in that though, and it looks incredible. I like this version of the statue. I might get the other statue. I don't know about the gold one though, but this is, if I had to pick, this is the best one. For $41, this is worth everything. And I found out that his arms actually do move here, and his wrist sort of moves. So if you want him in a different uh, sort of gesture, you can. Uh, sort of do that though but the how they have him pre-posed here already looks good enough to me I would actually yeah, there we go so like he's stooping stooping down looking down at Gotham so I love this dude though right here and you can see his grappling gun on his leg you see the belt though all the parts to him though you can see the stitching on the cowl and everything in the eyes it's just some neat paint like it's capturing the effect of almost like the 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 screen test. They actually released those screen tests. I knew they would though on of Robert Pattinson, including some of the characters and some behind the scenes stuff since the movie came on HBO Max. Though I can't wait for this movie to come on DVD though. But um you can see like there was red lighting, blue lighting, they tried both though, but especially when we first saw that uh, screen test footage of Robert Pattinson back uh, uh, two uh, wow that was like a few years ago already though when you just saw this 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 part of him though this is what it reminds you of it looks super cool though I love this statue 
And he's gonna look cool and eye catcher for my new collection of shit that I have here though. So hope you guys enjoyed this different type of uh, a video. Maybe I should face them forward to see him. There, block them out a little bit. There we go. So hope you guys enjoyed this different type of video though. I might do some of these for certain uh, collectibles and figures now and then though. So overall, I recommend this guy. He's super awesome and super cool. Though, um, great for any Batman person or if you really love the movie, though, uh, definitely this red and black version, if you can find it, is worth it though. Just the paint and the way it looks is super eye-catching and very comic book and I like that about it. This represents the movie right here though. So even, even too, funny enough, I did this statue today. I actually did find uh, the comic book Batman Year One, surprisingly though. So uh, it was pretty funny that um, that happened though. So it's pretty cool, um, if anything though. So I hope you guys enjoyed this different type of uh, video, these this figure video. Actually, those are pretty pointy. They're sturdy, but I would watch out for those if they break or if he falls or anything. I don't want anything to happen to that. Um, before I start repeating myself though, so watch out for my other stuff coming out. There might be some videos like this every now and then though where I talk about a certain collectible or figure that I might think is worth uh, talking about. But I feature a lot of figure news on my movie sit down um, segment, my podcast though. So uh, watch my Stranger Things reaction on the Alien Day video as well as the update video to get you guys caught up on everything that's going on, everything that's new and all that good stuff. So uh, let me know what you think and let me know if you, got, you guys are going to pick this up or if you already have it or all that stuff if you prefer this version of the regular ones so let me know so hope you guys enjoyed kind of share share subscribe those up thumbs down watch videos so see you next time i'm adi5000 i'll see you guys all next time